Hi, Cow. Slumber party with Cow. Original Nestle Toll House chocolate chip and cookie bars. Ooh. All right, for Dad, uh, Church's birthday, we're making cookies. Not just any cookies. A cookie bar. Yes. You have to give the vlog 69 pieces of wisdom for 69 years. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. What'd you say about 69 years? I said you have to give the vlog 69 pieces of wisdom for 69 years. Oh, <laughs> number one, don't let your meatloaf. Don't, you don't even eat meatloaf. That was a 60s thing. Um, honesty is the best policy. Number three, a little nuts in your diet each day never hurt anybody. Nuts, I didn't like nuts as a kid growing up. How's it going stirring that stuff? It's pretty thick, but I'm making it work. Everything we do is always your best attempt to meet one or more of your basic needs. Um, fake it till you make it. Now, I know that sounds trite, but what that means is like when you're discouraged, that's just your emotions talking. You can do it. Don't let your emotions get in the way of like what you really want. You know, be creative. Go out and do stuff that you enjoy. You deserve it. Well, yeah. You can't always get what you want, but if you try, you get what you need. Mm, quote the Rolling Stones. Yeah. When we didn't have enough money for you guys to have fun, like to have what all the other kids in the neighborhood had, that's what we always say. You can't always get what you want. Yeah, I hated it. But if you try sometimes. <laughs> Good morning from Palm Springs. It's Monday. I've been here for a few days now, but I haven't really been vlogging because as the last vlog left off, I got sick. It hit me so fast and very aggressively. Oh my gosh, yeah. I, I ended up going to an urgent care place and getting an antibiotic that has already been helping quite a lot. Um, actually, initially they gave me a different antibiotic I took one of them and then I did some research on this antibiotic and I was like, I don't think I want to take this. Um, it was a fluoroquinolone, if you guys are familiar with that. But from my research online, I found that a lot of people who have taken this antibiotic um, have ended up with some pretty bad side effects. Like it's got a black box warning and like apparently it's supposed to be used for last resort a lot of the time. I don't know, but I was just like, I don't really think I don't want to risk it for a sinus infection. Like if it was life threatening, I would definitely take it. But I was like, why are they giving me, I guess because I've had, you know, sinus infections for three months, so it kind of makes sense. But I don't know, it was called Leviquin, the antibiotic, if you guys are familiar with that. Uh, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, honestly, like, I don't think this has anything to do with, like, COVID shots or any of that, like, honestly. I've struggled with sinus infections my whole life, like, since I was, like, 12. Um, I just get them a lot, and I had sinus surgery when I was, like, 21 or 2. That helped, but as some of you guys have commented, apparently the effects of that surgery don't last forever, which sucks, because it really did help for a long time. But now I'm getting them again. Um, but back to that antibiotic, I was just like, uh, <laughs> normally when you research a medicine you're about to take, it'll say some crazy stuff could happen, but it's super rare. Like no one actually, that, that ever happens. But this one, I was like, why are there like thousands of people who have had this side effect? What the heck? They, it even had a name. It was called getting flocks because it's called like, it's like similar to the name, I guess, but Basically, it can really mess up your tendons and it's left people disabled in different ways And I was just like, I'm gonna just get a different antibiotic and so I did um, Just because I just don't think it's that serious to like risk it with that, you know if I had a staph infection Yeah, I'd take it but for just a sinus infection like let's just try some other things first Let's, let's just not jump to that one we're gonna try and be productive today, but we're also gonna try and take it easy. I really took it easy the last few days, but I'm finally putting on makeup for the first time in several days. Okay, I'm ready. I'm just gonna not do my hair, I think, cause blew it dry yesterday, it's fine. But okay, let's go shop.
from my storage boxes. I have a bunch of clothes in there and I think I have some stuff that I still would want. Obviously a lot of it I should just give away because I haven't worn it in like two years. Like do I really need it? Probably not. Hmm. I've settled on this fashion pass top and just these jeans that honestly I feel like this is dumb. <laughs> These jeans feel outdated now. Everyone's wearing the low rise baggy jeans and these feel like, I don't know, very last year or two years ago. And I just think it's funny, like trends change so fast now. Got some chipotle. I'm eating it outside. I've been trying to show my mom how to do some stuff, so I haven't gotten that much done. There's the mm, on look and at off. this, guys. YouTube queen. I was gonna edit, but I figured I can do it tomorrow while I'm getting my hair done, so I'm just gonna bring my laptop and do a lot of that then. Yeah. I'm showing my mom how to film for her real estate channels. She wants to document and do videos about living in this community. Right. So we're gonna go film something and then I'm gonna show her how to edit it. And to me, I'm like, oh, this stuff is obvious to me. And I'm like, oh my God, I forget when you don't know. It's like, there are so many little steps. We made a little list of things you need to know before moving here. I'm sure Monica showed you how to clip that list. So I would do it, you kind of want it to like face up because the microphone's right there. Perfect. Perfect. This is the receiver, so you just have to plug it in, basically. Sunset City Home Desert for the past year. There goes a car. Uh, yeah, you can just redo it. That happens a lot when filming. Noises constantly. So do we? Okay, okay. Way out. Yeah, just say um, how many pools are there? So on the uh, so seventy amenities included with the homeowners dues. Okay, we just finished filming. Um, how do you feel about it? It's sort of stressful, but then you can kind of get in the mood. I'll be better. I'll be better next time. Okay. I thought it was good. Let's get to the fun part. Editing. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we've got Final Cut all opened up. Let's shut Finder out. First thing you're going to do is hit File Wait. up at the top. You'll see File there. See how I'm not at it. Okay, it's still mm -hmm. going freaky. Mm -hmm. So I go in through Finder. If you don't know where to find something ever on the computer, this little search bar right here. And then we shot it in the frame rate was 29.97. And I'll show you how to find that. <laughs> I had to take a break from teaching my mom how to edit. All right, guys, on our way back to LA, it was so nice to be in the desert this weekend. I feel a lot better, still a little bit sick, but like barely not really. I made it, you guys. The way I got no sleep, I feel not good, but I got food and more coffee. So. All right, my hair is done. She did such a good job. Look at this blowout and the blonde is nice and refreshed. Wow, I'm probably gonna mess it up at tennis, but I'm living for it right now. Okay, I made it back. I don't know where my vlog camera went. Oh my God, you guys. Oh shit, I got it. what feels like no sleep. I feel jet lagged. I feel like I went on a red eye flight and stayed up all day like, Whoa, I didn't get great sleep the night before either. I know me talking about my sleep is kind of boring, but holy shit, like it's crazy. I did sign up for a tennis class at six. So I'm just gonna try and sleep until then. And then tomorrow we're gonna be productive, but at least I'll get some physical activity in. I think that'll feel good to like move. Okay, I'm back and I went and picked up Mendocino Farms, a little 
sandwich, a half sandwich, and soup. This is a kale turkey sausage soup, which I didn't really love their soup options, but I just wanted a soup, so let's let's give it a try. Ooh, I like it. It's very salty. Yum. Tennis was so fun, as it always is. It really woke me up, but I need to get a good night's sleep tonight, seriously. Good morning, guys. I got a good night of sleep, thank God. Um, so I'm getting right to working this morning, got my coffee, and we are editing the house hunting video. I'm gonna try and get that finished today. This one's really cool because I like the front through. Okay, we've got the rough cut fully finished. So let's do a voiceover. I have a new Invisalign tray in, so I'm gonna take it out for the voiceover. Uh, okay. Okay, I realized I can just shoot on my mini tripod on the Sony over here, and it actually works really well, so I don't have to get the whole setup because the lighting here is really good. Okay, let's do it. It is now noon. I've been working on stuff nonstop basically since 7 a.m. except for stopping to eat. So I'm gonna go on like a 20 minute walk, mostly because I can tell fog is rolling in and I wanna have the sunlight hit my skin at some point. So we're just gonna take a quick little break. When you have to take like a 10 minute walk before you're on a nice cute walk. Walk that was so nice. I just needed to like touch grass. You know, people say that about people that are too online. Well, I literally felt like that. I was like, I've been on my computer too long. I need to smell fresh cut grass and like feel the sun and fresh air for like 30 minutes. It was very, very nice. Okay, but now I feel rejuvenated. Let's edit in this last little part I just made. Lauren and I's friend is throwing an event in Santa Monica for her agency. Um, it's like TikTok shop related, so I don't know a lot about TikTok shop. Okay, we're walking away with some swag. Dude, the coolest swag. Like, I'm excited what? For, that, for getting tennis clips. The vlog, you guys get hyped because I'm about to be able to get way better footage. I'm like, for all you. vlogging. This is cool. Yeah. Okay, we should go get food. Sushi, cheers. Thank you. Just ran home to change and we're off to go play light ball. Not my best playing today, I'll be real. I don't know what it was. I mean, you saw me fall. You saw me fall. I don't know how it happened. I felt like I was in slow motion. I was like, oh, and we're, we're going down. Okay. Got some zinc and magnesium. This is like the best little sleep supplement. So we're gonna take a couple of these. Good morning, you guys. I had the most intense sleep. This stuff is no joke, okay? This is the magnesium, zinc and magnesium stuff. Monica found it from Jason's dad. I have not experienced a state of relaxation like that in so long. I was literally in my dream, I felt like I was drunk. Like it was crazy. I I had a dream I was drunk. I've never had that before and I could feel it. I could feel like that warmth, you know, when you're kind of drunk. I woke up and was like, this is this is insane. Um, But I was pretty groggy when I woke up too. So that's probably the only thing that kind of meh. Great sleep. So if you're like me and melatonin doesn't work for you, melatonin gives me crazy nightmares. They're so scary. Like I refuse to Take that stuff, it's so scary. So yeah, this stuff. And I've been taking the Trader Joe's Magnesium. It's not as good. You guys, I made a mistake. Minor one, but feels major in the moment. I took an antibiotic on an empty stomach and now I'm in so much pain. It said it absorbs better on an empty stomach. Well, I won't be doing that again. I went to get this emergency kombucha because it said online that kombucha will help. I feel 
even worse than I did an hour ago. I'm like almost sweating because it hurts so much for the love of God. This kombucha needs to save me. Update, the pro or yeah, this probiotic, this kombucha is actually helping a ton. It's been like 15, 20 minutes and I actually feel so much better. So we can head over. I'm gonna go have a co-working day with Taylor Bell. She's a New York YouTuber, but she's in town. So we're gonna go work out of like a Soho house. So I won't go to a lot of your role probably. I am now at the Century City Mall and I just want to go try stuff on and see if like my style I was telling you guys I just don't feel good about clothes I'm wearing so maybe I can find a couple pieces to pull it together I'll show you what I got yesterday. I haven't shopped in so long and all of January I was very like I'm not gonna spend any money on clothes and I didn't spend a lot on restaurants or anything like I really didn't spend that much but I did go to Zara. So this is what I got. I did get the jeans. I felt like these were pretty flattering. They were $50, so pretty reasonable price. I try to honestly not shop at Zara anymore because it is the biggest fast fashion company like in the world, but I had a gift card, so they were gonna get that money anyway. I might as well get some clothes out of it, I guess. Um, but. I actually do like these jeans. And then I just got this white sweater that I thought looked good with it. This was only $30. And I also got a pair of the Adidas Sambas. These are super popular right now. I'll link them because I love these as an everyday shoe. I feel like they look good with a lot of outfits. They make it look just a little more interesting, a little trendier and cooler than just white, completely white sneakers. Mine were also looking gross. You know, they're getting to that point. Here's the outfit. It feels very like, I mean, obviously this is so basic, but just 2024 casual with the slightly wider jeans and sambas. Okay, we need to talk about something. This is just, oh my God, it is, it's getting very just annoying to me. So you guys know that I've had a problem with people using my face to get views for themselves, mostly around Airbnb content. That's pretty much all it is. So it's almost always the men, who are probably not that much older than me, but like it's these men who just put my face in the thumbnail and react to my video typically to promote their Airbnb course. That's almost always what it is. Like every single one of these videos, that's what it is. And they've just gotten so ridiculous lately. Like look at this thumbnail and title. It's just simply not true. Like my house isn't in foreclosure. Quite honestly, I could pay off the loan tomorrow and just own the house outright, actually. But I'm not gonna do that because it's like a really low interest rate and my money's better off in an index fund. It's like they don't even fully do their research. So I'm making videos about my Airbnb experience so that people can learn from it. I don't really care about showing things that don't always go right and the fact that there are usually more maintenance expenses. I'm showing everything, like totally transparent, brutally honest. Whereas most of the Airbnb YouTubers that have a course are mostly honest, but they just leave out some stuff. I'll, I'll notice like their Airbnb does have a property manager or some kind of assistant, but they're not ever mentioning how much they pay that person. They usually skim over maintenance. It's like houses always have maintenance. They'll focus on the revenue, but just not share all of the expenses. Just as someone who has an Airbnb and now I feel like I know how it really works, I just think a lot of them aren't fully transparent. The issue I have with it is they're just going too far lately in my opinion with making me look bad at what point is this slander like at what point do i just take legal action and go i'm not a broke youtuber i'm not like i feel like <laughs> this guy is just trying to make me look bad youtube is interesting technically technically i looked it up it is illegal to use someone's face in your thumbnail with youtube you know you can't report thumbnails and i have been doing that actually now because i'm just like this is absurd especially because a lot of these guys making these videos 
they're just kind of like mansplaining Airbnb to me like they'll act like they have all these really good tips for me at least that Sean guy would do this and he'd be like oh lower your nightly rate to a hundred dollars a night like dude you don't understand that in Palm Springs you only have 36 rental contracts so that would be a horrible business model I would lose so much money doing that you're better off taking less bookings at a higher nightly rate and you know waiting for like holiday weekends and stuff like that I mean half of these people they think my house is in Joshua Tree they just don't even fully do the research and then they use my they put my face in the thumbnail because quite frankly they're just not gonna get any views on their own like they're desperate for views so they use me it's honestly kind of sad like you really don't have any other things you can make a video about that you want to make a video about or that you think would do well like you have to resort to using me with YouTube there is a fair use policy where you can use a snippet of someone's video in your video to refer to something to reference something to make a point it's kind of like the news they're always using different clips but if your primary focus of the video is just sitting and watching mine and making like a couple of comments then that actually crosses the fair use line into copyright infringement and I've seen some of them actually are that it's to the point where if somebody watched that this person's reacting video they wouldn't even go and watch mine because you see the entire thing in theirs it's affecting me because they're not even gonna go and watch my video because they just saw all of my content in someone else's video if I see more of those I'm definitely going to report it I think there's a way to go about it that's okay like I don't know like if you use 30 seconds of my video to show that Palm Springs is not a great market to invest in and then you go and talk about other stuff the whole time then I feel like that's fine but when you're spending the whole video talking shit about me it's not fine and technically sometimes it still is considered fair use and it still is legal but that doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean I'm cool with it. It's a small world. Like I see these people's names and YouTube and real estate industry is small. I feel like that's very bold to just go and make a negative video about somebody else. Obviously I'm not gonna be cool with it. If I ever ran into these men, I would not be cool with it. I'm not gonna act like, oh yeah, that was so funny. No. Part of the issue I have with it is because they're all using me to promote their courses. You don't need a course to do Airbnb. There's so much free content out there and in my opinion it's one of the most straightforward business models like it's not that complicated like I feel like this doesn't e even need to be said it's pretty obvious and even if it is like I said technically legal I don't think it's right and it is rude I feel like that doesn't even need to be said but it's weird it's bizarre like really don't have anything else you could make a video about it just makes me think like if you have a successful course like you're talking about why don't you go make success story videos of people who have taken your course and how well they're doing why make a video about my airbnb like i just don't some of these people maybe there would have been potential in the future to collaborate but now i'm like oh that's totally out of the cards i'll never i don't want to collaborate with any of those guys so that's pretty much all I have to say on that I just I guess I just wanted to put it out there that if like in general as I put it on my Instagram story a lot of you guys saw if you use my face in your thumbnail without permission I, I do think it's rude and I think it's weird and I'm not cool with it and I'm most likely gonna see it and be like ooh that person no you guys know I've had an issue with that Sean guy doing this for quite some time and he's still doing it even after I've repeatedly asked him to stop so that is that my Airbnb is doing fine and i hope that these people find i don't know some inspiration for their content that's a little more original and leave me alone